What's up, Zombie Slayers? Thank you for hanging out with me today. This is KJ48. Welcome back to Seven Days to Die, and I am going to be doing it. I'm going to be tearing down this entire backyard fence because I have something that's going to be way, way cooler. Now, this is going to hurt me um, physically <laughs> and mentally in every which way possible, uh, but it's not going to take as long as I thought it was going to be. You guys came up with a really good idea to dig out I heard something um, to dig out underneath it and just let it collapse, which is a really, really good idea. And this is going to work out well because this floor does need to be dug out eventually. Uh, what I'm going to do with this floor is I'm going to replace it with another. I'm going to dig it out, replace it with a proper flat, fl flat floor. Now the amount of the amount of man, this this makes me nervous. The amount of um, clay I'm getting. <laughs> This really makes me nervous. The amount of clay I'm getting from this uh, will be more than what I put in to put down a new floor. So I will be getting a net uh, gain on clay, which is pretty good. Um, and I don't even know if this is the right spot. I might have to dig out again. Maybe that's maybe that way. I'm not really sure. Um, but it is what it is. And I'm just going to, you know, do some digging here. Uh, I was going to just do this totally off camera, but we could get hit with a horde at any time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put you guys on pause. And if I come back... You know shit's about to get real. Well, okay, that wasn't so bad. That was really, really awesome. Just dig out underneath, let everything fall. Uh, there is a little downside, though. You get all this destroyed stone when it falls, but, I mean, honestly, it's a very small price to pay for the amount of stuff I destroyed very quickly. Uh, the only thing that sucks is I put all that, you know, energy and effort into that stuff, but you know what? I, I went ahead on another world, and I pre-built this, this build I'm about to do, and it is freaking phenomenal. So, um, it's worth... It's worth losing out on the resources I put into the other uh, the other wall. All right, so we're going to be using 0.025M metals, okay? And those are going to be on the floor. Okay, just like that. And I won't go too far with them because I want to, like, kind of build it first, then make sure everything's okay, then we'll go straight across, okay? So that's going to be the that's gonna be the part that's on the floor. Um, I'm also going to make this floor that I'm actually standing on so I don't have to deal with, like, the little dips here i will be extending this floor both ways eventually um so just be be prepared for that uh in the corners i'm gonna put full blocks like so okay and then on the top we're also gonna put these so we go to the only thing i don't like about working with these is they're a little bit hard to see like so you gotta really like like let's say you want to like here look at this watch see this is this is a little tricky here but it's not really a big deal. I could pick this stuff up, so it doesn't really matter that much. All right, and the stuff that's going to be in the middle is going to be... Uh, hold on, see, right here. See how hard it is to, like, get these properly? To get, like, to be able to get the shape, but I got it eventually. This one right here is going to be the pillar 0.025M double, okay? And we will just go ahead and copy rotation there. All right, beautiful. Now again, I've, I've gone into a test world. I tested this against um, uh, spider zombies. I tested it against regular zombies. I tested it against dogs. Uh, it, it's not perfect. There will be once in a while a zombie will get through, but for the most part, it's really, really solid. All right. And it looks cool. That That's the main thing. I love the way it looks. And we will, nope, I already have that there. So we just go down here and we copy rotation. Okay, just like that. Okay, so that's the basic idea of the build, okay? Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up top. Now, when I was when I first set up this build in my test world, uh, the spider zombies could jump through the upper part, all right? So I'm gonna show you what, what I did in my test world to remedy that. Uh, whatever, I'll just jump over. All right. Yeah, it looks good. Okay. So, yeah. So I could I could just put a full block up there. That would work as well. But I also had this other block that I thought was pretty cool. So let's see if we can find it. I believe it's in here somewhere. Yep, right here. There you go. The uh, gable, gable, three quarters. And this will keep the uh, spider zombies from being able to jump in. If you put a uh, full block up here, that would work as well. If you put a half block up here, that wouldn't work. My original uh, build, come on, let's get that down. My original idea for this build was to put um, a half block up there. Because I feel like a, a full block, you know, kind of, 
I don't know. A full block works, but it kind of makes it feel a little bit bulky. And a half block doesn't work. Uh, it allows the it allows the spider zombies to jump through. Spider jump spider zombies can still get through on this, but it's it seemed pretty rare in my tests. And um, I think I can handle it. Like I mean, I let them live for a while. Like they were getting through every once in a while, but for the most part, it wasn't really that big of a deal. Okay. And, oh boy, hold on, hold your horses. See that? They don't even see me. Oof, that could have gone very bad for me. <laughs> Stupid wolf. I think that's a dire wolf. <laughs> Probably shouldn't be fucking around with dire wolves, but it's, it is what it is. Alright, there we go. Gonna finish this punk. I don't know why they didn't attack me. I mean, the, the stuff's on Feral Sense. I might get rid of the wolf hordes, to be honest. They don't seem to really do too much. Like, that, those wolves were just standing there. They could I don't think they would have killed me, but they could have got a couple hits in on me. For sure. Damn, man. I got a sneak attack on this guy right in the head, and he's still not dead yet. There we go. Why are they trying to break in here? You can get in from the back, my man. All right, fine. Yeah, that's right. You run away. You run away. Go home and cry to mama. I wonder where the third one was. There was definitely a third one. Yeah, I, I might get rid of the, the wolf forts. Like, if they're not going to attack me, then, like, what's the point? I'm going to run around like that like an idiot. Is he going to come back? Coming back, bro? You coming back? Want some more of this bad medicine? I'd kind of like to kill him before I go back to building. Because I don't feel comfortable now. Maybe we'll put our M60 to use. Oh, you know, I could just go ride him down. Did he despawn? Alright, I'm going to ignore him and, and assume he's gone. Because that sounds like a good idea. Anyway. <laughs> Let's get up on top. And see what we want to do for the top. I haven't really decided what I want to do for the top yet. So let's get on up here and see what we got going on. All right, so I definitely want catwalks. Just one catwalk, maybe? One catwalk might be a good idea. It just seems so small just to have one catwalk, right? And I am going to use these. Uh, two doesn't see Three. Do I really want three catwalk up here? Three would probably be the mo make the most sense. Probably. Yeah, three would make the most sense. I might just do one. Honestly, I'm not really sure what we're going to do with the catwalk just yet. Let's just build what we've got and get some defenses up. Man, these things are really a pain in the ass. That's <laughs> a target. Like, for real. Uh, the best advice I could give you is get as close to the... Get as close to this wire as you can. I'm going to call it wire, even though I know it's not. Um, get as close as you can. All right, because that's that's the best way to do it. Uh, the experience is really good, though, man. I had two levels. Um, I spent one on lock picking, and I spent the other one on more uh, minor 69er. Uh, but I probably... I'm debating when I'm going to go for a minor 69er before I start putting a mother load. I probably will. I'll probably go for a minor 69er and then start banging out mother load. I'm not going to do... Oh, that's only strength 7? Hmm. I'm probably not going to go to 5 on minor 69 or another one. Probably not. Uh, as a matter of fact, I can almost guarantee I'm not going to. I was told to mine out minor 69 or before you do mother load. I will do so. Probably. Uh, but it won't be maxed out at 5. It'll be maxed out at 4. But th that's going to be maxed out because it's as high as I'm willing to go with it. And then, uh, yeah, then I'll start be able to start collecting stuff really quickly. I'm getting close to that iron node underground. My underground mine. So that's going to really make things awesome. All right, so I think I'm going to continue along with the fencing on the sides and try and get that done before anything else. Uh, once I start collecting iron, I am going to do I am going to do spikes uh, with iron, not, not iron spikes. What are, they, are they called iron or, or metal? Uh, hold on, spikes. Uh, they are called iron spikes. Kind of hard to see there, but yeah, they're called iron spikes. All right, cool. Very good. Um, oh, by the way, people also told me how to mess around with that transparency stuff. Um, so we're going to put that up to about 90. 88. That sounds good. 
How's that? Is that a little better? Yeah, it's a little better. It's a little better. I actually put it up to 100% and I, I couldn't get used to it. I just couldn't get used to it. So I was like, all right, let's put it back down a little bit. I think 90 is pretty good though. Oh shit, people. Oh shit, that bear is heading right for me. Okay. <laughs> that is not fun. Okay, so you see. All right, so what happened was that I'm pretty sure that bear was a, was a, was a horde spawn. Um, and basically what it did is because it's feral, it goes to where I was when it spawned. But because I saw it in time and got the hell out of there, no big deal. Uh, bears start coming at game stage 50, by the way. So, um, yeah. Well, <laughs> Oh, give me quite a fright. Quite a fright. Should I even bother trying to take him out with arrows? I'll hit him with the first arrow for the bonus, but... I guess I could have done that with, with you know, uh, guns as well, but that's okay. This is, what the, this is what my arrows are for. But I don't know if I want to let him break up my base either. Here, let's do this. Let's do... Uh, one of these. And let's go to advanced rotation. And there we go. And then copy rotation. See, bears can't fit in through the doors, so I think he's smacking the door. Oh, unless he's gotten in. Maybe he did get in. Well, let's see. I'm, I hope he did. Um, I think he's in. He just can't fit through the doors. Yep, there he is. All right, well, let's just uh, pelt him with arrows. Okay, and the bear is dead. Bear is dead. Man, uh, the fact that I'm, like, on the lookout, like, I'm always on the lookout. Like, if I'm cutting... Basically, what was happening, this guy spawned while I was cutting down a tree. And as I'm cutting down the tree, every, like, you know, couple hits, I look around. I'm looking up. And my attempt at this saved my life, because I'm telling you right now, I, I don't think he would have killed me anyway. It would have depended on how much, how many hit points I had. Because if, he, if I had hit points, I could have run away and, and, like, probably got up to where I was anyway. And I would have just taken a little bit of damage. But, I mean, there's a very real chance. A very real chance. He could have killed my ass. No joke. So if you're playing with this uh, mod thing on, you definitely got to keep a lookout for these for stuff like that. Um, unless you just don't care about dying. <laughs> All right. I'm going to go finish chopping down that tree. Oh, my goodness. Another freaking horde. Oh, oh boy. Ah, don't bite me. Don't bite me. That sounds like a that sounds like a zombie dog horde too. It's kinda weird they didn't come in after me though. Kinda messing with me. Let's go see what it looks like out there. Uh yeah, just sitting here working on my base. Trying to stay out of trouble. But zombie dogs had other plans. Where the hell are they? They are zombie dogs, aren't they? Yep, look at him. Look at him out there. Okay. I feel like we may have to go guns on these guys. Let's see if they are in place for me to kill them from above. If not, I'll just go guns. I gotta pick those potato plants at some point today, too. Also got an airdrop out there. And I know the airdrops have been pretty shitty, but I'm probably gonna get it anyway. There they are! I knew you guys could do it. I don't know why you just didn't break in. Well, I guess they don't really have a They do have a way in the outside, but that's okay. This'll do. This will do just fine. There you go. Have another. Okay. I am not screwing around with these guys with that bow anymore. It just takes too long. Okay. But what I will do... Oh, hold on. Hold on. I will go to the ones where... Oh, man. I was hoping the ones outside would stay outside. They probably heard my gunfire. Damn it. Uh, well, let's make sure... Nope, there's one. Okay. Alright, it's not like they take a lot of ammo to kill. I'm gonna start farming ammo as well. Alright. So, are there any more out there that are at my fence? Damn it, I was hoping the ones at my fence would stay at my fence. Uh, that's a bit of a bummer. I was trying. To, I was gonna try and melee through it, but that's okay. We'll get them next time. We will get them next time. Yep, just chewed through my door. Hey, man, the build's not ready yet, but it's getting there. All right, we are just about done with this part of the build. I am not going to do the walkways on top just yet. I'm going to do those in another part of the build. I'm pretty sure they're going to go too wide. I think they're going to go one wide. Like, well, they're going to be too wide. They're, there's going to be one on this, 
you know, platform, and then there's going to be one hanging out over the top on the other side. Um, I was thinking about just making the, the catwalks just one, but then I was like, you know what? Now, nah, let's put the second one out there. Hopefully, it'll keep the um, enemies uh, from being able to jump on my head, or at least make it a little bit harder for them. Okay, and there we go there. Um, so I think what we'll do is we'll kind of go up top and I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. I think two will be pretty good. I don't usually like to do even numbers, but you know, that's fine. Uh, so it'll be like one of these, like this, and like this. Come on. There we go. Alright. So the idea is with that over the top of their heads, it'll make it harder for them. Because what'll happen is as the zombies build up. They'll like be, they'll start standing on each other's heads, and that'll help them not do that. And plus, I've got one over my head. They've got one over their head. I think two will be really nice. Yeah, that'll work for me. Could change my mind, but that's kind of what I'm looking at right now. And there we go. Now we just need to upgrade all this stuff. Hopefully, we have everything we need to upgrade it. Probably won't, but you never know. It should be a really nice, uh, you know, defensive structure here. And it's not going to be really that good until I get some spikes out there or something. Uh, oh, who knows? Maybe it will be that good. I don't know. Uh, what I need to do is I need to keep... I need to keep a repair tool on me at all times. Because, like, let's say I'm here in my base doing some work, okay? And it's like, oh my god, there's a horde coming in. Could be at any point, right? Um, I'm going to need on me what I need to repair these fences to deal with that horde. Think of it as, like, a horde night, like, any time, you know? These don't look the same. Yeah, those don't look right. Huh. Okay. Well, I guess I'm just going to ignore it because it is what it is. Yeah, they don't... They look kind of off. All right, whatever. You know what? Doesn't matter. It's daytime. That's all I care about. We do have an airdrop next to us. So I will be checking out the airdrop. Um, I've also got a treasure map. Uh, I think I'm going to hold off on the treasure map now and do that some other time. I'm hoping to get a couple treasure maps. But if I don't get another... If I don't get another treasure map within, like... A few days maybe i'll do that treasure map but um yeah we're definitely gonna go head on out and check out that airdrop for show i also have a gun a gun store i want to do uh we're gonna do the gun store next episode um again stuff comes up all the time i might change my mind you know it'll kill me if i change my mind but uh as of right now i have every plans doing the gun store next episode and you know if we don't get the airdrop like i said in a few days i'll probably just uh, not the airdrop we don't get the if we don't get another buried treasure in a few days i'll probably just do the buried treasure i already have what i like to do is i like to save up a bunch of buried treasures and just do them all in one video and make that the video um, these look really different i guess they look the same it just kind of feels like it looks it looks different but it just um yeah i don't know whatever i guess i guess they all do look like that i just never noticed before it's interesting yeah, that'll that'll keep me nice and uh, nice and safe, right? When I was driving around looking for a uh, tree to cut, I did see a bear out in that direction, so that was fun. Let me make sure my guns are loaded just in case he comes in. Um, I do need to hit, you know, I really need to hit some coal and potassium nitrate sometime soon too. Uh, <laughs> I got a lot of stuff to do, man. I gotta start making ammo. I gotta freaking go do the gun store. I gotta do buried treasures. I gotta I gotta do everything. Gotta get this defense going, all that. This really put me behind, but I'm glad I did it. This looks so much cooler. It, it really does. I think this looks so much freaking cooler. I'm just loving the way it's coming out. And here we go. Just about done here. I also want to see if uh, this, like, if this walkway that I'm going to put on top of this thing kind of lines up with the second floor of my building, which would be cool. I do want to check that out before we, uh, before we uh, go get that airdrop. All right, there we go. The entire thing is 100% done, except for the walkway, which again, I will do later. Let's go upstairs and see how that lines up. All right. Now, how would I break out? I guess I have to come out here, kind of see how I'm going to do this. Yeah, let's get up on top of there. We'll just drop down on there. Okay. Uh, yeah, Ugh. see, the whole idea of putting catwalks up here is really going to mess up really gonna mess up uh the stepping into the building uh the catwalk will be on a different level which is really really annoying maybe i won't do catwalks i could pr i mean i don't need to do cat well i kind of do need to do catwalks well it kind of no i kind of do damn it all right let me show you what i'm talking about really quick all right so the idea is i want to break in here and see where this is if this is on a proper floor or not 
Um, okay, that's not gonna work. Uh, what the hell is that doing down there? All right, let's go ahead and put one of these right here. And let's break in right here and see where this is. I can always replace this stuff. It's not a big deal if I break into it. Okay, yeah, so that's not even... A, yeah, the floor is way up there. So this isn't even going to line up properly. Which is actually a kind of a good thing for me. Uh, although, I'd like to know where it's going to line up. Yeah. It's going to line up up here. Basically, what I want to do is I want to get from the second floor of the base out onto the catwalk. Okay. So, I'm just going to kind of do this for now. Okay. Yeah, there it is. Can I actually get in this way? Let me see. Oh, uh, yes, I can. All right. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. Now, let's go on the other side and see what we can do over there. Yeah, this is going to be cool. The catwalk is not going to quite... Well, actually, it might work out exactly the way I want it to. See, the whole thing is with the catwalks, guys. The catwalks have a platform underneath them, which brings you up off of the block you're placing it on. So if I had a catwalk and it went right into a building like this, it wouldn't work because the catwalk would be a little bit off the floor. I don't even think I could fit into the door, to be completely honest with you guys. So um, that wouldn't be fun. All right. And... Let's just continue with the whole ladder motif here. And see where we can do with this. See, now this is going to be on this floor. So, ah, uh, that's going to... Yeah, that's not going to work. Unless I make it come up through the window. And up around the side, but... Uh, well, I could probably do that. I could probably do that. What I could do is... And I'm not going to do it right now. But I could make a walkway that just goes up to there. And then that way I could get to there from here. Or... Or I can get to the walkway from over here. So I can get to it from, from two different spots. And I can just make a little little staircase going up to, there too. You know what? I think I can live with that. All right. I got a little bit of a sneak preview for when I do do the catwalk things. I think this will be the catwalk build down here. And then I will just copy. And we will go to advanced rotation. And then this will come down like this. Come on. Nope. We had it. There we go. And this will come through like that. And we should be able to put one behind it. Although, yeah. Yeah, I kind of like that. All right. So it's kind of what we're looking at. I might mess around with it a little bit, but that's the basic idea. So the catwalks will be two. One hanging out over the end. One right on top of this. And then when I get to this part, I could come right up here into here. If you're wondering how I did this, uh, I put... Basically what I did was I put these right here upside down and then I put railings on top of that uh, we'll get into it a lot more when I eventually do the catwalks at some point uh, what I want to do right that's just a little sneak that's just a little taste a little sneak preview uh, to what is in store for you guys what I'm gonna do now is we are going to actually I don't need to drop off anything let's just go get the airdrop it's not even that far away now what are we going to be doing next episode I'm like again you know you know that you know the drill I reserve the right change my mind and all that all that good stuff um, you know, but as of right now, what I'm looking for for next video is the gun store run. Um, I also need to decide if it's worth opening up new trader routes when I don't think it's the same trader because my trader is not trader wrecked, right? My trader is trader Joel. I don't know. The bearded guy. You know what I'm saying? Um, that guy right there. Uh, I should probably take a You know what? Let's go take a look at his stuff really quick. Um, wait, I actually, have I looked at this day 16 stuff? You know what? I don't think I looked at his day 16 stuff. I was inside building the whole time. All right, so if I'm going to open up Trader Wrecked, it's not really worth it to me, is it? I might do it anyway just because, but... Yeah, I got Trader Hugh. Oh, Trader Hugh. Trade. Okay. All right, Trader Hugh. Let's see what you got, buddy. All right, guys, you know the drill. Uh, just go ahead and pause the video if you would like to see what's on each... You know, I don't know what you call this category or whatever. All right. And I did buy a couple things, a couple uh, nice things. I bought a hundred. Um, I bought a hundred cobblestone. Uh, I had cobblestone on me. That's why I, I have four eighty-seven. I must have three eighty-seven before I bought the hundred from him. Um, do I want Night Stalker? Uh, nah, don't really care about that. Uh, by the way, he's got freaking crucibles coming out of his freaking ears. My freaking ears! Oh, the robotic drone wouldn't be bad. I gotta buy that. Before. Actually, not. It wouldn't be bad. I gotta buy that. Um, not right now, but before day nineteen. Anyway, this is the stuff I did buy from him. 
Uh, Urban Combat, Armor Does Not Slow You Down When In Combat. Freaking phenomenal book right there. And then uh, Art of Mining Volume 6, Take 50% da Less Damage From Collapsing Mines. Beautiful. And let's see what you got in here. Sugar Butts. I was big on Skull Crushers last season. Now I'm not so sure. Eh, whatever. Let's just get the hell of it. We're almost out of money, though, but that's okay. We got better bartering for. We can make some other effing money. Let's go get that airdrop, see if it's any good. Probably not, but my curiosity is getting the better of me. And, um, yeah, like I said, next episode, we'll be banging out the gun store. Um, is it worth going to Trader Wrecked? I don't know. I might do it anyway. But, again, I don't know. Opening trade routes. Um, and if I don't get, you know, over the next few days, like I said earlier, if I don't get more treasure maps, we'll go do that treasure map. Honestly... The one treasure map I have is going to be a good treasure map to do. It's going to be a, a, it's going to be something because it's look at what it's in the middle of. I have the chance of hordes. I have um, more dangerous cities mod. Uh, that's not going to be an easy treasure map to do. Like not by a damn sight. So um, that should be pretty exciting. Even if I only do one, it's going to be a pretty exciting treasure map. I think. Is this thing on the roof? Uh, yes, it is. That's okay. All right, what do you got? <sighs> you guys are trying to convince me these things are worth it? I mean, well, so, not everybody. Some people are trying to convince me that they're worth it. I can't believe how bad the airdrops are. Uh, puffer coats. Oh, I know how to make double pocket mods, don't I? I forgot about that. Oh, okay. I got I to gotta get on that. Totally forgot about that. I have not forgotten about the auger, though. Like, I mentioned the auger earlier. The reason I'm not doing the auger... Is simply because it makes so much freaking noise. I'd like to get a little bit of defense, maybe some more ammo and stuff before I do that. Uh, learn this trick to safely move 21st arrows and bolts from target. Okay. And let's check this one. Uh, craft exploding arrows and bolts. That's a really good one. Oh, I finished it. What do you get for that tray? I don't know. Let's go find out. I'm going to get out of here so I don't get attacked. And then I'm going to find out what I get from that tree. Is there any safe spot in this game? Like with these dangerous dangerous cities mod and these freaking wandering hordes mod? I don't think there's any safety. But kind of safety. Alright, let's see what we got from that. Uh, what did we finish? I don't freaking remember. Uh, here we go. Ranger's Archery. Uh, bulk craft arrows and bolts. Okay. You know, if this was an agility, an agility run... An agility run? Yeah. If this was an agility run, um, that'd be pretty dope, but it's kind of mediocre for what I'm doing here. All right, guys, I am going to call this one here. If you end up enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy. And for you super fans that stuck around to the end of the video, um, I totally forgot to open up this pistol, uh, pipe pistol bundle. And then I was like, who freaking cares? It's a freaking pipe pistol bundle. So you guys can suffer with me. You guys who stayed to the end of the video, thank you very much. And let's uh, let's all suffer together. There we go. Awesome. At least I got 100 rounds. Hey, 100 rounds of 9 mil ain't nothing. So, and this will sell for 89 freaking dukes. What a piece of crap. <laughs> all right, guys. Thank you for suffering with me. I'll see you next time.